Boy, oh, yeah, look at that. Now the guy's on that one, bro. What a big man! All right, Mush. I'm going to save your Vera, mate. What the hell are you talking about? You know that wanker Diaz, the Bugelmeister? He's got your boy Lugs. Word is, you might try to jump him. Didn't jump high enough, if you know what I mean. Where did he take him? Ah! ah all right, all In right, plain mate. English. Keep your party on. They call him across town the junkyard. <laughs> Bloody hell, you nutter! I love cruising for action. Slave us! Buy my book! It's printed on bars. Okay, okay. Let's take a quick call. Hello, you're on Game Shack. What's your name? Hey, it's Manuel from Front Island. I love the show. Yeah, I want to talk about technology and slaving us. You know that play, In the Future There Will Be Robots? Well, that's a true story. In the future, there will be robots. And I'm gonna hack them all. I'll make these things funny things. You know, I can move satellites around with my computer. Computers are evil. The Luddites of ancient Britain know this. That's why they destroyed the computers that created things faster and more efficient and took their jobs. Oh, shut up. Computers aren't evil. It's the people that program the computers that are evil. That's a pretty big difference. I'm talking to you through a computer right now. In fact, I am a computer. Well, anything that can think faster than me is evil. Anything which doesn't dance or sing or cry or wear a smile. You create your own reality. We are like the dust in the wind. We are like the garden. We've got to get ourselves back to the garden. Okay, okay. <gasps> I know who you remind me of! My Aunt Susan! Oh, she was single too. I'm not single, Amy. I share my life with a number of valuable partners, and we commune with each other in a non-judgmental, expressive way. Old maid, my yeah, mom calls her. Anyway, let's go to the boat. You're on K-Chat. Uh, yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that was great, really interesting. I'm, 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 I'm British, you see. Like our ancient wood-wearing queen, Medusa. Me, 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 Medusa. Ill at ease with his father, son, and mother nature. 
I hope he finds what he needs. And I need to take a commercial break. Gap, good luck. Get Sam and me. Yeah. I hope you find what you're looking for, and I sincerely hope you woo, take a bath. We'll be back after this. You're on K-Chat. Don't go. I'm gonna say go over here, mate. Descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you hide behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I'll be an incompetent Mental health is confidence Dreams and some honestness I'm not here to save the day That's for you to take away I could play a million mind games But instead I say Something not illogical Something that is topical Rub it on and watch it go Make yourself unstoppable Dreams are irresponsible But they're always possible If you just believe You could be so remarkable Thoughts in my head A collage and they spread I'll be great one day Going off of my meds No, I'm not giving up No, I'm not giving in I will make it to the top Taking off in the wind I gotta make it I'm saving every day to taste it I'm patient, but my mind, it can hardly take it I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages of bacon Modern kingdom for the taking Now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up
right, Mush. I'm going to save your beer. And my Out of my way, babe. I'm sorry, yes. Rock, let's get on with the rock. All right, Mush, I'm gonna save your beer, mate. What the hell are you talking? It's a thing to do in here.
Alright, Mush. I'm gonna save your Vera, mate. What the hell are you talking about? You know that wanker D is the bugle one. You should be replaced! my careful planning blown to shit. Thanks to you. You screwed up real good, Lance. He killed my brother. What do you expect me to do, mow his lawns? We're gonna have to take out that prick Diaz before he takes us out. You okay to use a gun? Sure. I guess. Nice to see you too. Let's get out of here.
market for young people. I mean, don't you just hate old people who try to be trendy? I mean, isn't it just the saddest thing imaginable? I'll give you a story about that. Central 
Save your life. I don't want to take. City Station for the stars, including me. And boys, have I got a treat for you. Next up is a living legend, a man who won the World Series single-handed, known to his fans as Death in Tight Pants, and known to his enemies as, oh my god, I just got flattened by a truck. How is that fair? It's sports legend BJ Smith. So, BJ, welcome. Thanks. It's a real pleasure to be here. Oh, I know. But one thing, sweetheart, I never won the World Series. That's baseball. I play football. Yes, but it's all the same, isn't it? Football and baseball aren't the same. And one of them, you get bored during a five-hour game. You touch yourself a lot and start a massive brawl with players who are degenerates, egomaniacs, and criminals. The other's football. Yes, but it's all the same. No, Amy, it isn't. Anyone can hit a home run. In baseball, you stand around the field, dividing your salary by 162, waiting for some action. Talk to a guy who just played an hour of football. He's been in the trenches getting Agent Orange sports drink poured all over his head to keep him from taking an innocent life. One is a game for men, the other is a game for pansies who like wearing button-down shirts. They call baseball a national pants time. If that means making a million dollars by standing around all day, count me out. I'll work for my money. Yeah, BJ, just like me, I can tell you. Yo, baby, it's cool. I just want you to know what I did. I do. Jeez, get over yourself. You must have a testosterone imbalance like all those jocks who shower with other men. You can't tell me you don't look at other people's business. Baby, I played professional sports for 14 years, including high school, and I'm making a comeback. I'm a very competitive person, I grant you, but I ain't got no testosterone imbalance. 
With that little mustache you busting out, looks like you should be talking about some hormone problems, girl. Excuse me? What did you say? Oh, oh, nothing. Damn, baby. You're so ugly, you make blind kids cry. BJ, you better stop being a bully just because I'm not into the jock scene. I like sensitive guys, you know, like actors or rock stars or that kind of thing. Not some great big hulking giant that has to tell everyone how important he is. Well, I didn't realize we were trying to impress each other here, sweet thing. I was thinking we was here to discuss my new exercise video or talk about my possible comeback in professional football. Not sitting here flirting with each other. I'm a married man. I'm on my seventh wife. So you got a big family. All those wives. That's fantastic. Not really. You see, I really like family, especially when some show up you didn't know existed. I tell you, Father's Day, I'm scared to go to my mailbox. My big heart has caused me a lot of heartache, but when you're in the public eye, you can't always tell what people are about. BJ has met some real manipulative people. Seven wives. That's fantastic. No, I have one wife. I had six before that. So you downsized, right? <laughs> yeah, something like that. If you want to win in life, you have to change players. You can't play on the same team all the time. So, oh my God, isn't this getting intimate, BJ? I feel like we are really connecting. Yeah, I'd like to connect with you. Other men may fumble, but I go into the trenches like a doleman. That's actually part of my video. What are you talking about? Well, as you know, running the ball is like making romance. And one day when I was going for a touchdown, if you know what I'm saying, I had a great idea. You see all these fitness videos on television? It's always that idiot fool in leotards prancing about giving it the skinny thing. And I say, what is this? I mean, what in the world is this? These people ain't fit. They ain't got a clue. When you're fit, you know it. If you come into the locker room, you know I fit for football, able to wrestle and pounce and hurt somebody for an hour straight. That's what people need. If someone comes to jack your ride, are you going to uh, bust a aerobic move? Hell no. But when you know how to grab another man by the face mask and twist him around and, and so he tears ligaments in his back and never play again, I mean, that's some real useful everyday stuff. And I should know. I ain't been there. You know, I just don't want to talk about football anymore. Well, take dating or washing the car. What good is a leotard when you're washing the car? But put a man in a helmet and a cup, and he can watch a car in dignity. That's fighting fit for football. A really very simple program. The best way to get your body fit is to have total disregard for your body. Every now and then, you wake up and come out of a concussion and say, Damn, I look good. BJ, you talk funny. We'll be back on K-Chat right after these messages. Are you tired of your couches getting ruined? Oh, Grandpa. I made tinkles again. If you've got old people cluttering up your home, why not send them to Musty Pines? We'll help bring back dignity, and we promise it will be the best three months of their lives. They'll enjoy bingo, complaining, mumbling incoherently, skinny dipping and organ donation. And once a month, it's our famous Lucky Dip medication switching night. Musty Pines is located at a luxurious location overlooking Vice City's state-of-the-art sanitation facilities. You can still visit your old people, but now you have the comfort of knowing you don't have to. After they pass on to something better, guaranteed in three months or less, you can start enjoying their money. Finally, you can have quality family time again. Musty Pines. Now, you don't have to say goodbye. drive through service also available. He was just the boy next door. Hi, well, hello there, Danny. I didn't know it was hockey season. Hey, can I borrow a knife? A deadly curse. A deranged killer. A small town in tears. Knife After Dark. Rated R for Retarded. Ew, that's gross, BJ. Stop hitting on me. Hi, I'm Amy, and you're on K-Chat. So, what do you need to do for BJ's fit for football? Well, Angela, anybody can do it. What you need is a real expensive gym, a team of trainers, medical practitioners, dietitians, a baying crowd, and a opponent who wants you dead. Dead in the dirt. I mean, a nasty, blood-sucking leech of a man who will destroy you if you don't destroy him first. A man you like to set animals on. He's the enemy, and you sit in your foxhole till it's time just right, and then you pounce, baby, like a kitty cat on catnip. I'll sack a man, pile drive him hard, again and again, because the idiot comes my way, I'll nail him every time. This video sounds like a lot of fun. Fun? Fun? 
You think it's fun when grown men cry in mortal agony. When you're so scared of what you're going to do to a man, you step outside yourself like an astral projection and police go Kent State on you and, and people are crying and bleeding and, and, and pouncing each other in the face. And that's just in the locker room before the game. That's your idea of fun? Yeah, I, I, I guess. <laughs> yeah, mine too. That's why I'm making a comeback. I've been retired two years and I'm telling you, selling cars or appearing in soft drink commercials is not fun compared to having 50,000 low IQ morons in Green Bay or, or Tampa or Liberty City or whatever screaming how they want you dead just because you're playing for the Mambas. That's actualizing the self. Wow, that sounds interesting. Tell me about it. I am doing. I, I'm fin to... Hey, wait a minute. Are you reading a book over there during this interview? No, no, I can hardly read. Get on with it. I'm trying to, sweets. You best listen. The comeback is a real deal. B.J. Smith, six-year Pro Bowl MVP, the man responsible for more broken bones than anyone since people had legs. I'm a fiddler crab. You can rip my arms off, and I'll just moat and grow new ones. Where? Right here, right now. Let's get it on. Of course. I, I mean, when? Uh, soon, baby. Uh, real soon. But, and don't call it a comeback. Like the song said, I'll whoop your ass. And this time, I'm doing it my way. Ignorant fools, they gave me nothing to work with. The owners, I mean. What owners are you talking about? The owners of the team. They gave me nothing. They're the reason my marriage failed. I worked my ass off all those years sweating blood and, and puking my soul out, and they treat me like a tractor. Roll me around, treat me no better than the dogs. The guys that got hurt, they never saw a penny out of those monsters. That's just like Jade. Who's Jade? She a fox? My friend. She's a goth. She got sacked for wearing makeup and an I Hate Life t-shirt to work and never saw a penny. <laughs> She like, um, football stars? She teaches kindergarten, professionally. You know, I know a lot of players who need to go back to school after they finish playing. It's a tough life and you lose something. What did you lose? Hope, diction, something. It's brutal out there. That's just like Jade. Those kids are evil little brats. Listen, are you going to talk about your freaking friends who dress like a funeral? I thought we were here to talk about BJ. BJ Smith, and I feel alive. I mean, really alive. Ain't nothing more and bigger than holding a man's head in your hands and looking him in the eyes and saying, I can kill you in one second, old man. And he says, I got a wife. And you say, give me all the money in your cash register. What are you talking about? <gasps> BJ, are those muscles real? That's funny you should ask. Because the answer is yes. They ain't implants or nothing. Wow, you're enormous. <laughs> nah, this guy's twice my size. But I'm quick, rich, and angry, like a Republican. So, oh, um, I see. Look, I ain't got anything more to say to you, and I can't fall in love with another gas or I'll get sacked. So let's go to the phones. Who's on line one? Hey, Amy, I'm a first-time caller. How you doing? I love your show. Sorta. BJ, man, you're awesome. Here's my question. How'd you play that game against San Andreas with two broken legs? Oh, I can't believe I'm talking to you. Wow, man, I don't know what to say. This is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> well, why the hell you call in? Don't worry, I'm a professional. The method I use in the game against essays is actually a part of my exercise video. When in doubt, go for the groin. I hope that answers your question. That's a problem with the public. Fans, I get it all the time. Know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I get that all the time. People say, are you that girl off the television in that show? And I say, no, I'm the girl from the radio. I just look like her. Anyway, BJ, that's all we have time for for now. Thanks, Amy. And um, look after that mustache. Okay. Thank you. I'll be back on K Chat after these messages from our sponsors. Don't go away. Are you tired of dad? Dad, no one wants to hear your stupid Vietnam stories. Are you tired of mom? Hi, Angel. Do you want to read a book or go outside? No! The arcade comes to your living room only without the creepy guys offering to show you puppies. Awesome! The Degenitron. You can play video games just like you were in the arcade. Excellent! Degenitron. The Degenitron gaming system plays three exciting games, including Defender of the Faith, where you save the green dots with your fantastic flying red square. Cool! Monkey's Paradise, where you swing from green dot to green dot with your red square monkey. That's red! And Penetrator, where you smash the green dots deep inside the mysterious red square. Wow! The 
Freddy Genetron brings arcade realism to your living room. It can even take quarters, and a strange, sweaty man comes by to empty the machine on Fridays. The Genetron fighting the evil of boredom. I'll never go to school again. The Genetron. Do you have dry mouth? I sure do. It protects your teeth, fights infection, and lubricates your food. But what happens when you run out of saliva? Help me, I can't talk. For personal dryness upstairs, it's Salivex. Wow, I can spit again. Salivex is more than saliva in a can. Salivex improves consumption efficiency by 50%. No more halfway cures like coating your throat with cooking oil to have that extra piece of cake or bowl of kitty litter. After a night out, my tongue tasted like carpet. It was embarrassing. Now with Salivex, I can eat a whole box of crackers or lick my life partner's stamp collection all night. It's like having a salivation army in my mouth. Now I can suck a lollipop for as long as I want. Salivex tastes like your own saliva. That's because at Salivex's state-of-the-art production facilities, we use salivation philanthropists who make Salivex all day. Salivex, when it comes to personal dryness upstairs, we're deadly serious. Welcome back to KJAT. My next guest is the star of the hit show, Just the Five of Us, where he appears as the rich father of a family of misfits. But more recently, he's working on the controversial theater piece, In the Future There Will Be Robots. Claude, Maggie. 